that last video is getting a little long so I'm gonna break this up so I took a piece of mud flap material and cut it to where it fit up onto the lid um, it fits up tight against the baffle so that's gonna create the seal um, obviously after this gets sandblasted and painted I'm gonna give this a little smear coat of grease on both sides just to help any sealing at all um, the rubber does have some give but we can also automatically assume that this seal would never work if this surface right here on the main barrel isn't perfectly true and flat so I went through with a file and trued it up so now I've got a little jug of water here we're gonna dump it in and see if we got any leaks other than obviously the center hole that I haven't plugged yet I want to make sure I got it filled up above the baffle yeah we got some small ones looks like I'll have to go back through and true up that surface just a little bit more let's try this one more time I did give it just a little bit of grease and I have one little spot that's leaking <clears throat> and this is gonna be under vacuum when the engines running I think between the vacuum and the grease that small of an air leak not even gonna worry about it that can be easily compensated with the mixing valves all right now we need to get some pipes placed on it I gotta hand it to Wayne the way he designed the last one of these, I mean, I changed the design a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, the way he designed it made a lot of sense now that I've had the complete box up in the engine bay, all fitted up, seeing where everything's going to lay out. I got my first spout. I do have some indexing marks here and here where I want this to land. The way that Wayne laid it out was one spout here, two up here, and one on the end more or less the same way I'm doing it this one's just a a really tight fit um, but the way he laid it out just makes sense for the room that's given in the engine bay of the v10 <clears throat> so I've got my little indexing marks here I'm gonna line them up hopefully it won't fall out of the vise I'm gonna take my machine scribe trace this out cut it out get this one welded in place and then I'll start cutting the radius and coping out the next two and where they're gonna go Okay, got it coped out. Nice unrestricted flow, good fit up. Get that one burned in and uh, three more to go. Now this is the gas spout that I knew no matter what I did, it was gonna be tricky. When this is sitting in the truck, it's orientated vertical uh, onto the mixer body. So it's perpendicular to the valve covers. Valve cover right here, heater hoses, right here brake booster right here brake master cylinder about uh, two and a half inches away so what I elected to do because I looked at Wayne's and he had a straight spout right here and then a hard 90 and it looks like it'd be a turd to get that thing on and off I mean hopefully you never have to take this thing off if you do it's just for maintenance purposes uh, but I wanted this line to be a little bit easier to get on so I took a piece of pipe cut it on a 45 and this is gonna come out flat so it'll be parallel with the valve cover but obviously up above it it'll basically line up with uh, our forward gas port that you saw me weld on earlier so more or less it's gonna go about like so that'll clear the heater lines and the booster and the master cylinder and still be easy to get on and off because there's a little window right here where I can get to it really easily once I get this in place we'll go out to the truck we'll show you guys what I mean
Could have taken just a little bit more on the back side, but not too worried about it. It's going to flow just fine. <clears throat> if you're wondering about the two little holes, it's because I built everything out of scrap. This was a uh, carport that my buddy had, and it caved in under snow. So I stole all the piping from it. And this is the last couple pieces I have since building the Shavota. So these were screw holes. I'm just going to weld those up. All right, that's ready to take out to the truck and test fit. You can see I got the mixer box already bolted on. Um, I did use the same uh, piece of that mud flap. I made a gasket surface back here that spaced it out far enough to where I needed it. Uh, clears off all the, the bolt heads very nicely. I can reach right inside, get to all the studs. Uh, when the time comes that I have to burn out the intake, I can stick the torch right through here, introduce flame, and get it lit up. Uh, that is if my truck doesn't do what Wayne does and be able to self-ignite, which is pretty handy. Uh, so that makes it clear the throttle nicely, clears the top of the fuel rail. We've got about a half an inch of spare underneath. We've got about an inch over the top of the valve cover. I did trim off the bottom ear uh, just to clear the PCV breather daily and make this a little bit easier to get in and out because these heater lines make it pretty tight, especially if I have the bolts in it. Uh, definitely way easier to install without the bolts, so I'm glad I haven't welded those in yet. Now, I don't have the gasket on here at the moment, but for what I'm doing right now with the test fit, it doesn't matter, an eighth of an inch isn't going to matter at all. I just want to make sure it's going to clear the booster and the master and the heater lines real nicely. But it looks like it will do that beautifully. Now I could stick a 90 on here, probably a sweet 90, get it out into this opening and send my gas lines down. And then this one will come uh, probably straight off 90 over into here. These two, one's gonna be split to the right, one to the left. I already have the air filters, I just need to get the piping. And uh, that way when I get the truck on the road before the gas fire's done, I can still be driving it. I'll just have these two ports plugged off and be running my air mix valves wide open through the regular air filters and be able to drive it just like it's on gasoline. So yeah, that'll work. Now we'll take that inside and get it welded up. And one more test fit for good measure because we are working with some pretty thin material so it can distort pretty easily. See it's still nice and free. Bolt holes are going to line up. Cool. So there's the mixer box. I won't bore you guys with uh, sandblast and paint. I mean nobody wants to sandblast and paint. It's annoying. It takes forever. But I do want this to look halfway decent underneath the hood because uh, I told you guys the Shavota fire was about proving the point. Now it's about making it look pretty decent. Got big plans for this truck. Should be pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys.